Richie Gray is well known in the Borders, a 1999 Cup winning captain with Gala and later a coach for the Maroons. His expertise in the contact area of the game led to him being signed up by the number two ranked team in the world and this two year deal ensures he'll be at the World Cup next year. But how did it come about? I was invited down last January uh, to work with their high performance unit and then one thing led to another and then I was invited in for July for the championship and you know things went well there and just one thing after another you know professional sport and I've been involved in it for a long time Stuart uh, sometimes there's a little bit of luck involved uh, you know you get a chance and you just got to take it and, and that's the key so no I worked hard and you know, uh, hopefully it'll pay off over the next couple of years. All this, of course, is tremendous news for Richie Gray, but many people asking, how come Scottish rugby let him slip through the net? You know, everybody has their time. You know, I was, I was uh, employed underneath Jim Telfer, Ian McGeechan, Richie Dixon when I was at the Scottish Rugby Union, and I left, obviously, about five or six years ago now. Different groups bring in their own people, so, you know, there's no problem with it, you just get on with it. And, you know, there's New Zealanders coaching England, there's England coaching Wales, there's Wales coaching Ireland, you name it. The, the world of professional sport now is a real mix match, especially in coaching. So, uh, you know, you've been given the opportunity, just go for it. What about other Scottish coaches? Though? There's a lot of talent here, they don't really get the chance that they deserve. Uh, I think, in some ways, it's difficult because there's only two professional teams, you know. So, if you've got two professional teams, you've maybe got three stroke four coaches per side so there's not there's not a massive amount of jobs really you know you gotta go where the work is you know you can't sit and wait in Scotland for a job to come because you could wait for for many many years because there's not the there's not the avenues there you know one thing's for sure the man who invented the collision king which is now used all over the world is certainly making his mark in world rugby not bad for a man who started his career right here in the Scottish borders Stuart Cameron ITV News Gala Shields